Wombat Goes Walkabout by Michael Marpurgo, illustrated by Christian Birmingham. One day, Wombat woke up and thought, I think I'll dig a hole today. Wombat loved digging holes, so off he went and dug a deep, deep hole. He crawled inside and sat there in the cool and the dark and began to think, because Wombat loved thinking, too. He thought to himself, why is the sky blue? Why am I a Wombat and not a kangaroo? Some time later, Wombat climbed out of his hole. He looked around for his mother, but she wasn't there. He was all alone. Who are you? cried Kookaburro from high in the sky. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do, Wombat? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, cackled Kookaburro. I can fly. Look at me. And he looped the loop and flew away. Wombat went down to the creek to look for his mother, but she wasn't there either. Just then, Wallaby came hopping by. Who are you? He asked, looking down his nose at Wombat. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do, Wombat? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Wallaby. I can hop. I can skip. I can jump. Look at me. And he hopped and he skipped and jumped away. Wombat walked and walked and everywhere he walked he looked for his mother. But he couldn't see her anywhere. He sat down under a stringy bark gum tree to catch his breath. Just then Possum popped up beside him. Who are you? she asked, her eyes darting this way and that. I'm Wombat, said Wombat, and what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Possum. I can hang upside down and I can swing by my tail. Look at me. And she swung away up on the stringy bark gum tree. Wombat wandered sadly through the bush still looking for his mother. Just then, Emu came scampering by. Who are you? he snapped. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. Now what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Emu. I can scamper. I can scoot around in crazy circles. Look at me. And away he scampered, scooting around in crazy circles. Just then, Boy came by hunting after Emu. Who are you? he asked. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Boy. I can do just about everything. I can jump. I can run. I can swing. I can even hunt. Look at me. And off he went, hunting after Emu. <laughs> It was baking hot now, and Wombat shuffled into the shade of a great eucalyptus tree. He hoped his mother might be there, but she wasn't. Who are you? called Koala from way up in the tree above him. I'm Wombat, said Wombat, and what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Koala. I can doze, I can snooze, I can snore. Look at me. And very soon she was dozing and snoozing and snoring away, high up in her eucalyptus tree. By now Wombat was very, very tired, so he lay down in the shade and sang himself to sleep. When Wombat woke up, he looked around for his mother, 
but she still wasn't there. I know, he thought. I'll climb the highest hill I can find. Surely I'll be able to see her then. So that's what he did. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed. When he reached the top, he looked around him. Everywhere he looked, there were lots of cackling cackabarrows, hopping wallabies, swinging possums, hunting boys, scampering emus, and dozing koalas. But no matter how hard he looked, he just couldn't see his mother anywhere. But he did see something else. He saw smoke. He saw fire. It was leaping from tree to tree. It was coming straight toward him. Wombat thought hard, very hard. And then suddenly he knew what to do. He ran down the hill as fast as he could and he began to dig. He dug and he dug and he dug. When Kookaburro came by, and Wallaby, and Possum, and Emu, and Boy, and Koala, fire, they all cried. Run, run, you silly wombat. Fire, fire. But Wombat just went on digging. What are you doing? They asked. I'm digging, replied Wombat, and I'm thinking, too. What are you thinking, they cried. I'm thinking that fire burns faster than you can run or fly or hop or swing. And I'm thinking that there's plenty of room down in my hole. If you want to join me, we'll be very safe. They took just one look at the cackling fire and the billowing smoke. One look was all they needed. Down into Wombat's hole they jumped, until they were all sitting there, safe and snug. And to keep them all happy, Wombat sang them the digging song that his mother had taught him. When at last it was all over, the fire and the song, they climbed out into the evening air. I wish, sighed Wombat, looking around him sadly. I wish I could find my mother. I've lost her, and she's lost me. Well, why didn't you ask, they all said. We'll find her for you. And away they went, flying and swinging, hopping and scampering, running around in all directions. With so many of them looking, it wasn't long before they found Wombat's mother and brought her back to him. Wombat and his mother hugged and hugged and hugged. I've been looking everywhere for you, she cried. I was worried sick. What have you been up to? Not much, Mom, said Wombat. I've just been thinking a lot and digging a lot. That's all. The end. <laughs>